What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be working on the Toyota Tundra again. Today we are going to be installing a light bar that's going to tuck inside of our front bumper right here. So let's go ahead, let's jump right into today's content. Let's get this light bar installed and I'm going to show you guys exactly how we're going to do it. So to kick things off, let's go ahead, let's pop our hood, get the hood and grill out of the way and then let's jump into taking off our front bumper. All right, really quick, let's show you guys what we've got. So here are our brackets. These are going to go somewhere like that inside the truck. And then we've got our single stack 21 inch light bar. So let's go ahead, let's get this front bumper off and then let's find out how this is going to mount up. So our first step to getting this front bumper off, we've got to remove these little plastic pieces here. So it's going to be two tabs here and then we've got to wiggle the two prongs out of the truck and then those will come off nice and easy. So now that we've got this first one off, go ahead and remove the other side. And then we're gonna come in and remove all of these black plastic clips alongside the whole bumper. All right, now that those black clips are all removed alongside the whole entire bumper, we need to come in and remove these 10 millimeter bolts. It's gonna be one here and here, another one down here, and another one right behind this one tucked right back here. It's gonna be same on the other side. And then we have a few more bolts all along this edge here. All right, now that we've removed all of those bolts along here too, we've got to come underneath the wheel well here. And on both sides, tucked right in here, there's gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt as well. Go ahead and remove those. And our next step is to give these clips a nice tug, and then they should pop off. And then we should have something like this. Once both sides are popped out, go ahead and remove that top plastic piece and it should come right off. So now that we've got that plastic part completely removed, we've got to come in here and remove these two 10 millimeter bolts, these two 10 millimeter bolts, and these two 10 millimeter bolts on this bracket so that we can get that out of our way so that we can get down back behind this front bumper here. So go ahead and remove those six 10 millimeter bolts and then I'll check in with you guys. All right, now that we've got our bracket out of the way and everything else out of the way, let's go ahead, let's take a look inside and I'll show you guys what we're looking at. So when we come in here, you can see I have the light bar just sitting there, and that is on our crash bar that runs right across here. Now to use these brackets, what you're gonna wanna do is take these two holes apart, and you're gonna wanna connect it to the crash bar bolts on this outside edge on both sides. So you can either put the bracket in this way, or if you want a longer light bar, you can put it on this side and it gains like one or two inches on the light bar. For mine, you can kind of see it comes just to this edge almost. So we do have probably three inches on each side that we could add a bigger light bar. Now the other way I've seen the light bar installed is once you put on these little 90 degree mounts, you just put a self tapper screw in that hole right into your crash bar right down there. So there are two options to mounting this light bar. Both are going to do the same job and both will work out just fine. If you are going to drill into your crash bar, I recommend disconnecting your brake. That way you don't cause any vibrations that are going to set off your airbags. Now unfortunately for me, I don't think my light bar is long enough to use these brackets. So I think I'm going to resort to just throwing two self-tapping screws into the side of that, into the crash bar on the Tundra. Now because I'm going to do the two self-tapping screws way, if any of you want these brackets, go ahead and DM me on Instagram. I'll put my handle uh, right here. DM me on Instagram if you guys want them. The first person that wants these brackets, I'm gonna ship them out to you for free. So go ahead, DM me on Instagram if you guys want these brackets. I would recommend measuring your light bar size once you get those brackets installed. That way you know for sure how long of a light bar you will need. So don't do what I did and guess on the length because now you're gonna end up having to do the self-tapping screws, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I would prefer having the brackets. And because I'm outside of my return range on this light bar, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it installed. 
because I want it on the front of that truck. So I went ahead and I made sure that that was straight and perfectly centered in there. I used my little tapping tool here to come in here and on those brackets right in there, just get a nice tap. That way the screw goes in straight and I know where the markings are at. So now we're gonna throw in the self-tapping screws and we're gonna check it out and make sure that it looks good and that it's on there securely. All right, so we've got our self-tapping screws in. You can see right there. Gonna blow away those chunks but our light bar is fully installed. So now obviously we need to wire it up, but I'm going to talk about that here in just a minute. In the meantime, I'm actually going to put everything back together really quick. And let's go ahead and let's see the finished product with the whole front end put back together. All right, and there we have it guys. The light bar is completely installed here in the front. It is tucked nice and neat behind the bumper. I lined it up perfectly so that it was even. So let's go ahead and let's talk about a couple things really quick before you guys click off of the video and then I'll get you guys on your way. All right guys, so that's going to wrap up today's video. A couple things we need to talk about really quick. I know I didn't wire up the light bar in this video. That is going to come next video. I actually have a super cool switchboard that I wanna show you guys that I'm gonna get everything installed. So that's the pod lights, the light bar, and I'll be able to add anything else that I add on to the truck in the future. So stay tuned for that video you guys are going to see a super cool easy way that we can add a switchboard in the interior of the truck it's going to allow us to easily wire up all of our lights that way we can have them all on the inside on one board just a touch of a button and we're going to be lighting up everything now the second thing we want to talk about really quick is if you guys want those brackets dm me on instagram right here i'm going to put my handle dm me on instagram first person that wants them i'm going to ship them out to you guys completely free to you i'll pay for everything those brackets are super nice and useful unfortunately i ordered a smaller light bar than i thought i needed so i wasn't able to use them but hopefully you guys are enjoying the content i'm having so much fun working on the tundra and i know i haven't been doing as many videos as i have been in the past now we're only doing one video a week rather than two. But it's because I've been super busy in my personal life and I've got some big things in the works, so I'm super excited. So stay tuned for more content. Smash that subscribe button. At 1,000 subscribers, we're doing that giveaway, so you'll want to get entered quickly. And we will see you guys next time. Peace.